Kids are just like PPPT PPPT PPT HHPT until one day they're like oh I can think. And then it's all downhill from there. Mr. Email. Emi Email. Make the attachment. A pick of snail. Warning. Is your girlfriend a horse? Yay. Nay. I wish I would have gotten this warning before Stephanie broke my heart. Just discovered a neat trick. If you make brownies, but don't cut them, you can eat the whole slab and say you only ate one brownie. Do not do this. Being 18 to 25 is like playing a video game where you've skipped the tutorial and you're just sort of running about with no idea how anything works. Being 25 to 30 is like later on in the game, when you've figured out how things work, but have made poor leveling decisions along the way, and are now horribly underpowered for what you're supposed to be doing. I'm so despacito I'm literally going on omegle for friends. My phone auto corrected desperate to despacito I love this timeline. Listen, I'm not the biggest fan of kids, but if a child looks at me then you bet I'm gonna smile back at them. Kids deserve to experience the world as a kind and safe place to explore okay, but the world is not kind or safe. Then fking do your part to make it that way. Anybody know any good substitutes for love and personal fulfillment? Crunch Wrap Supreme from Taco Bell. When I was little I wanted to grow up to be a Disney princess, but I'm pretty sure I just became Isma. I had a dream Guy Fieri survived the nuclear apocalypse as a gal and roamed the world in a suit of flaming red power armor looking for the wasteland's greatest diners drive-ins and dives. That Midwest feel. When the tornado sirens go off, and you panic for a second before remembering oh, it's Wednesday. What does this mean? It means it's Wednesday, bro. If a tornado hits on a Wednesday it can't hurt you, those are the rules. People with sleep paralysis. I'm the hallucination. I'm begging you to stop. I like the corner of your eye. Imagine stabbing someone with this knife. It would instantly cauterize the wood, so the person wouldn't bleed. So it's not very useful, if you want information it is. And above, in order, we see a Gryfinder, a Ravenclaw, and a Slytherin. Why would you stab a person, when you can have toast? There's a Hufflepuff. The concept of wizards is so funny, you read a book, and can shoot fire from your goddamn hands. Umfeo. I didn't attend 7 years Hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry for this sh- you're right you sure didn't attend 7 years Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Concept. The secret boss of a video game is the merchant you've traded with this whole time, and their combat capabilities are based entirely on what you sold them. For example, did you sell them necromancy skill books? Welsh they can summon a skeleton army. Yeah I'm really scared of the guy with 30 rusty iron swords and 200 fruitcakes. Stressed. Lemon balm tea. Bloated. Peppermint tea. Slow metabolism, green tea, nauseous ginger tea, sleepless nights, chamomile tea, common cold, elderflower tea. I just want a boy who touches me distractedly. Like sitting watching a movie and he just kinds of drags his fingers over your skin while watching, and he doesn't have a motive he's not trying to tickle you, or be sexual with you, he's just touching your skin, and feeling the shape of your bones under that skin. Like it's physically comforting for him to know that you're there right under his fingertips. Oh if I didn't know girls liked when I did this. Do you ever think that maybe when you pull out your cell phone ghosts from other eras get real interested and just stare at you as you text people or watch you use your laptop or sighs wistfully as you shower like frick I wish we'd had those dang. Gets jealous as you make your coffee awkwardly tries to figure out your video games when you've left the house. Turns on your skin and just watches the taps run, and drives your water bill through the freaking roof. I don't know man ghosts. This explains why people living in houses talk about lights flickering taps turning on and off curious ghosts. Someone write the story damn it. Liking a bad is not your taste in music. It's a way of life and people who don't like a bad can't reach the ideal world and that is what Plato talked about. If you don't like dancing queen then f you. Plato. Carbonated hot dog water. Op do you take criticism on your posts? Go ahead and kill me already. I'm really high right now, 
and I couldn't find my phone. So I was like Alexa find phone and she called my phone for me. She's like a wife I'm gonna marry Alexa because she knows where my phone is. I love technology. I woke up this morning and on the Alexa app it'll give you a string of posts of what you asked Alexa. And I told Alexa I loved her 37 separate times with the last one being good night I love you. And her response being good night. Sweet dreams. This post is better than the entire retty of the movie her. Part of adulting is having your bed in the center of the wall instead of in the corner. Why is this true? You can pry my corner bed out of my cold, dead hands. Oh my, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm a mysterious old man. Glad we made that clear. I think the worst part about becoming an adult is slowly realizing how you just start to care less and less. I can barely remember the last time I saw a movie and got so attached I had to write a fanfic about it. Now I can barely remember the name of the second main character. Someone. A movie can't be wholesome and dark at the same time. Those qualities are mutually exclusive. Me. What we do in the shadows. WTF is this. Vampire Queer Eye. That is. 100% what that movie is. Arguing on the internet. A guy who cares if a language is endangered. If it doesn't serve a purpose anymore, let it die. Me, I'm not sure if you know about this, but languages don't just die out on their own. Nobody just freely decides to not teach their children in the language their mother taught them. Languages are murdered, deliberately suffocated and wiped out. It's a tragedy, not a natural occurrence guy maybe it sucks enough for the children to quit and speak a language that is actually used in the world me i don't think you understand how cultures work guy what does culture have to do with this me grandma caterpillar putting on lipstick took me a minute yeah but when it does you can't unsee it what if marvel did little shorts before their movies like disney and pixar do and we could see a happy fun little 3 minute movie of domestic avenger life. Like Steve taking Bucky to Disney World for the first time. Or Darcy and Jane dragging Thor to the mall on a shopping spree. But he ends up working it in every outfit he tries on. Or Clint and Natasha getting really into a heated game of paintball. But you don't realize it's paintball until the very end. When Natasha shoots him. And you hear him groaning. And see a giant. Splat of bright pink paint on his chest. Or Tony and Bruce measuring and talking quantitals and reactions, science stuff, and they get into a heated babbit about proper procedures and whatnot. Then at the end we find out they were trying to bake Pepper a birthday cake, and they end up exploding cake all over the kitchen. Holy shy love, when people make this post a thousand times better. A two week old lemming in a spoon. Men are always talking about what's natural, but in nature it's always the males of the species that have to be pretty or work really hard to get the females. I want to see more men dressing up and wearing makeup. Dance for me. Build me a f***ing house. Impress me, you mediocre refs. I'll get you, and it'll look like a bloody accident. Shut up. I mean it. I will end you. Jim Carrey Grinch was chaotic neutral, but Mike Myers' cat in the hat was just straight up chaotic evil. Did you know that this movie is the reason why the Seuss estate won't allow any more live action adaptation of Dr. Seuss's books? Can you imagine how fucking wild ladies must have gone for the rejection in Pride and Prejudice right after it was first published? This guy's making 10,000 a year and her family is expecting her to find accommodation for herself sooner rather than later and still Lizzie is like no, no, true love only. And also while I've got you here please accept my invitation to F off. I would have lost my damn good. I would have gone bonkers. And group chats didn't exist. So you just have to hope your friends were as far into the book as you. So you could meet at the village green to throw a fucking riot. I'd write my friends an urgent communique. As soon as I'd finished the Collins proposal scene to like my dearest Anne. You simply won't believe the developments of this chapter. Read urgently and respond post fucking haste. And seal it with a wax stamp and shh. I would have taken my horse and ridden over to the next village to talk to my best friend and even loaned her my copy of the book and stayed with her family for however long it took her to finish it so we could discuss. Peter, big mood. Steve, what does that mean, big mood? Peter, ah uh, hey Mr. Rogers captain sir, ah uh, well, it kinda means like, me too, guess. 
Steve. Thanks kid. One week later at a team meeting. Tony. I'm kinda worried about this mission guys. Steve. Big mood Tony. Big mood. Tony. Parker what did you do? Thor. Throwing Joel the lead. Tony. Excuse me? Thor. You see. Young Peter told me that. Tony. When will you people learn? From District 12. You know her as the girl on fire. The lovely Katniss Everdeen. Todd Howard, my youngest, I got him a Switch, and he really got into Zelda, and he hadn't traditionally played those games, and he was too young to play Skyrim, when it came out, then when Skyrim came out on Switch, I said, well you've played a lot of Zelda, I think you might like Skyrim, and I want to do it as the father, like please, play this game, and see if you like it, and the short story is, he got obsessed with it, Todd Howard sold Skyrim to his own son I'm. I hate how our reward systems never work for me, like I can't just say, if I finish this assignment I can have a cookie, because my brain is like, or you could just have one right now, and I can't argue with that logic. Self imposed deadlines don't work either, because I know the guy who set them, and he's full of sh**. We got a few older new memes. This is so sad Alex a play 9 cat 10 hours. That phrase like. He looked at her, like she was the sun has always confused me, because most people look at the sun like this. I really like stickers, but at the same time I don't, because once you stick them somewhere that's it, it's finished, and I'm just not emotionally stable enough for that responsibility. I have been waiting for this post my whole life. I was trying to explain this to someone one day and they basically told me I was crazy. The other night I tried to make a curry, and I got chili burns all over my face, so I thought to myself hang on, doesn't milk soothe chili burns, it doesn't I couldn't google, because I couldn't see, so I just had to blindly feel my way to the fridge and pour out a bowl of milk, and then plant my face in the bowl of milk. Anyway at that point the rice cooker went off, and triggered a power surge which turned my electricity off, which I didn't notice at first, because I had my face in a bowl of milk. And when I did emerge from the dairy prison I thought I had gone blind with chili burns. So now I don't really cook much. Today I learned why we think we look good in mirrors, but not in pictures. In the mirror, your perception is opposite and your face looks different whereas in pictures, your features are exactly how you appear to others. So I really am ugly that's great. Hospitals are so weird, like... On one floor a woman is bringing a new human life into the world, while the father of her child looks on. And on the floor below her a frat boy is getting a wee eye moat removed from his butthole. I thought this was going to be deep and emotional, but I was so wrong. When you wish upon a star, it's actually a satellite, and your wish has been recorded and catalogued, an agent is now assigned to your case. Can someone write a book about this? People who track wishes, and assign agents to make them happen. Like a sci-fi fairy godmother sort of thing. Boy Scout, sir, the lads and I found a snake is it poisonous? Me, no this snake is not poisonous at all. One of them picks up the snake which bites them, they begin to spasm and foam at the mouth. Me, however this snake is venomous, venom is always injected, poison is ingested or absorbed through the skin. Let's get it right next time lads. Starbucks barista, I've got a calf mocha for, Russian spy? Everybody, remains seated and eyes each other suspiciously. Barista, throwing his CIA badge at the floor in defeat, damn it I thought for sure that would work. Someone told me once that shooting stars are really just angels throwing away their cigarettes before god could catch them smoking. Hash someone get me a young child I have wisdom to pass on. Me, meet someone new. In my head. Slot machine rolling what kind of personality I should present to this one. Current mood. That picture of Rami Malek holding two pens at an autograph signing and looking overwhelmed, you know the one I mean. The scary thing about dating, is that you are either going to marry that person or break up, or skin them, and wear their face as a hat. Whoa there, friend, you might need to slow down. When you yell puppy at a little dog and they get gappy, and wag their little tail like yes, I'm a puppy, a baby dog, thank you. When you yell puppy, at an old dog and they wag their tail, and get all happy like yes I'm still a little dog thank you for noticing. Every dog is puppy, all dog, no age limit on puppy, all are puppy, puppies. 